Well, last night it was just a delightful way to get into the holiday spirit. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I would say that my low would be the fact that it rained a lot. And it was like really on and off, sporadic, crazy stuff. And normally I would actually be okay with the fact we got rain at this time of year. Because I'm sure a lot of people want to have a white Christmas. But after that, we just immediately want the snow to be gone. So, I guess my glow is the fact I'm worried about those that actually want a white Christmas. Because, as far as I know, I don't think we're going to get that. I mean, let's be honest. People can only really predict the weather like a week ahead in advance. And... We got about, actually, just uh, over two weeks before Christmas. So, yeah, it's going to be a while. But, uh, yeah, I can't believe we're already, we're already on the 8th. Can you believe that? Today is December 8th. For all intents and purposes, we're over a quarter of the way to the month of December already. It kind of went by fast. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Trust me, I'll get into the real deep stuff when we get to the end of the year, okay? I'll promise you that. If you're expecting anything deep and, like, emotional, wait until, like, the 31st, okay? You can wait until then. Um... My high is spending time with my family, as well as my mom made chicken soup for dinner last night. Chicken noodle soup with some rolls. And actually, a mom food that, you know what, I don't think, I hadn't talked, here's the thing, it's a mom food I don't think I've had in years. Like, probably since before the pandemic. I'll get to that in a minute. As well as my high being, um, the mass Singer had its holiday sing-along. I'll talk a little, bit, a little bit about that in a second. And my act of kindness, and this was perfect, because the mass Singer had its seasonal sing-along spectacular, as they call it, right? Basically, it's a bunch of Christmas music. And we were listening, or watching and listening to the episode as we were, as I was helping my parents decorate their tree. I posted the, what the tree looks like on social media. It's a cute little tree. It's actually not a very tall tree either. They actually didn't want to go for a tall one this year. I'm kind of glad for it. Although, here's the thing. When it comes to helping my parents decorate the tree, for me, it's putting on the lights. Just simply because we put the tree up against essentially a wall and where it is, it's kind of like a narrow space, especially when my mom also has um, two, uh, two of those uh, tree plants or whatever. But those kind of tree plants that um, they're technically in dirt and soil, but they're surrounded by like a bunch of rocks and stuff like that to signify the feel of a real tree. There's the, they are real trees, but to, to, um, to sort of recreate the environment you would see when these trees in. Although, major props to my mom. She's had these trees for years. Like, years. These trees aren't really supposed to last that long. My mom has done a great job of making them last as long as she has, so... Kudos to her. The trees... Those trees are... Are, are like... The, the Christmas tree is in the middle of the two trees. If you, see the, if you see the post on social media, on Facebook, and Instagram, you'll know what it is. But, um... You know, putting on lights, putting on uh, ornaments, lighting the star. Although, um, it's really funny. My, um, my folks have like a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments. Some of which my brother made when we were little kids over the years. Some of which we just happened to collect over time. Like, we got elements out the wazoo. We might actually have enough ornaments for like three trees. I'm not kidding. 
But um, if there's one ornament that absolutely has to be on the tree, it's um, actually, what am I doing? I, I haven't done the intro yet. Good morning, happy Thursday, everyone. So if there's one ornament that absolutely has to be on the tree, it's this one sort of Santa that's like yay tall. And we put it like under, we put it next to the star on the tree. Again, the tree is posted on social media. You'll see what I mean. That's, that's probably the ornament my dad has had the longest. I dare say that Chris's ornament is probably one of his top five prized possessions. Um, Obviously, his greatest possession is his family. Actually, if I was going with material possessions, I would put, yeah, that's, that's a video for another day. Um, right, so, man, it was just really great watching them. Not just the season eight finalists, but like mass seniors, mass senior contestants of previous seasons, like Nick Carter's The Crocodile, um, they got, uh, sorry, uh, well, not just, oh, well, crying out, started off, the sun came back, uh, um, we have Rhymes was phenomenal as per usual, uh, she was the sun, runaway favorite of season four, and the one I called the win it all from the very beginning. I'm starting to notice that once every four, that once every four seasons, I just hear like the first note of the first contestant in the first episode, and I immediately think they win. Seriously, in season four, I, for, from the minute I heard the sun, she, I thought she was going to win, and she won. In this past season, the second I heard the harp, I'm like, she's going to win, and she won. Like, it's crazy, right? So just seeing all these contestants do their various, um, these various Christmas songs, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Again, you know, the sun, the crocodile, the fox, uh, the snowstorm came back, the lambs came back, the harp came back. Like, and a whole bunch of contestants who didn't sing, but they still want to wish everybody happy holidays. The bride, the bride came back too, Chris Jericho. Like, Ah, it was such a good, it was a good episode. It really was. Definitely, like, I mean, let's be real, that is the last mass singer life thing we're going to get in 2022. And if that's the case, I couldn't, I couldn't be more happy about, about it if I tried. It was a lot of fun. That, and uh, that's all I really need to say about that. So, the, um, Matt Singer happened last night, and I mentioned that uh, there was a bomb food that I hadn't had since before the pandemic. Not as long as the way as the zucchini bread, but still a pretty long way. Actually, I shouldn't say that since before the pandemic. I might have had, like, maybe, like, it's something my mom only makes, like, one time a year. And it's that sort of thing, like, oh, yeah, she kind of does make it, doesn't she? Or, like, she'll have, like, my mom said that I had like any sort of like um, fruit related dish because actually are zucchinis fruit? I think zucchinis are fruits. Hang on. I'm going to look this up. Oh, well, while I'm at it, um, the Rams are playing the Raiders today. So. You know what, I'll pick the Raiders over the Rams. I'll pick the Raiders over the Rams, okay, hold on. Are zucchini fruits? Yes, they are. Okay, so I'm finding kind of like a theme. Hold on, let me, let me set this down. I'm finding it kind of a theme where if it's like a fruit related dish, or an item, like zucchini bread. My mom will keep that fruit in the refrigerator forever. I mean, fruits tend to last a really long time in the refrigerator, everybody knows this. But when we were supposed to have Thanksgiving, but my mom got sick, 
this was something that she was going to make. So she made it last night to go with our soup and uh, chicken noodle soup and, uh, you know, dinner rolls. It was the Pillsbury biscuits, you know, the, the ones that rise with all the layers, which if you're like me, you peel a layer, spread that, spread butter on that layer and eat it. And like, it's essentially like layer of butter, layer of butter, layer of butter. It's awesome. I love that. Okay. Um, enough distractions. So the food in question my mom made was uh, acorn squash. I really wish I had acorn squash a lot more often than than um, than I than my mom makes it, because at best my mom will make it one time a year. Now thankfully, when my mom got everything prepared to make Thanksgiving up until she got sick, she actually had four acorn squashes and she used two of them last night. So she's got two more. So chances are I'm about to have acorn squash again soon. Maybe even tonight, I don't know. But I forgot like, I didn't just forget how good acorn squash is. It is really good by the way. I forgot how sick, I forgot how simple the preparation for it is to make. Well, when my mom does it anyway. I don't know what you, I don't know what, I mean, let's be honest, acorn squash, like a lot of things, you have a lot of different ways to prepare it. But the way my mom does it is, she'll roast slash bake it in the oven. This is what she did last night. She roasted the acorn squashes in the oven, which at like 350 for, I don't know how long, like an hour or so. And, you know, we had the, the acorn squash on top. She sliced it. Actually, I think she did that because she, it's easier to scoop out the seeds there because acorn squash, like most, you know, gourds, have a lot of seeds in them. You know, pumpkin, barnet squash, acorn squash, spaghetti squash, you name it. They, they, they have a lot of seeds for a good reason because, you know, reproduction and everything. But, The way my mom always made acorn squash is really simple. All she would do is she would slice it open, you know, cut it down to make, I guess sort of like little boats or something. Sometimes she'll just like slice the, um, the acorn squash in half, scoop out the seeds and do what she's about, and do what I'm about to say she does and leave it at that. Or last night what she did is, she cut in half and then cut those halves in half the uh, the long way. So you have like eight little boats, I guess. And all she does is top them with butter and brown sugar and let that bake in the oven for a little longer. Man, I tell you what, I mean, Let's read it later. As good as the acorn squash is, you know me, I have a sweet tooth. The butter and the brown sugar is the best part of that thing. But it's also good when it comes to, seriously, it's also good when it comes together. Like, and it's really tender too. Like, all of those elements put together, like, it's so soft and tender and good that. I eat the entire thing, skin and all. What? You know, skin has a lot of fiber in it. Fiber is good for you, right? Right? I mean, I'm still here, I mean, I'm still alive right now, so I'm pretty sure eating the skin off of a cooked acorn squash isn't gonna kill me. It shouldn't kill me. But damn, hey, fiber. Um. But man, it was just so good. Like, yeah, I know. It's sort of meant to be kind of like the dessert portion or whatever, but I didn't care. Like, you know what, you yep. Here's the thing, I've never actually had the whole sweet potatoes with marshmallow. I know it's called yams, but let's be honest. They're orange, they're sweet potatoes. I never had the whole sweet potatoes and you know, mutt and marshmallows or whatever. We've never really had that. So I can't really, seriously, I've never had that before in my life. 
I've seen it, it just never interested me. Because let's be real here. Between if at Thanksgiving you have like the turkey, the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, possibly butternut squash, possibly some sort of vegetable in the form of like a salad or you know, green bean casserole. We never had green bean casserole, but some people do. Some people have mac and cheese. We never, actually, that's weird. A lot of people, a lot of people really consider having mac and cheese at Thanksgiving. My family's never done that. And now that I think about it, it's a missed opportunity. I love mac and cheese. And we never have it at Thanksgiving. Although, the closest we had to anything like that was one Easter, we decided to have Easter brunch at home. And my mom made turkey and stuffing, ham, mac and cheese, and like a whole bunch of other stuff. It was really good. So like that, like that's probably the closest I've ever had to having, you know, mac and cheese with Thanksgiving turkey on Easter. Which, hey, Easter's a holiday, right? Thank you, of course it's a holiday. It's one of my all time favorite holidays actually. Um, so, what was I talking about again? Oh, right. Um, between all that, there's no reason to really have, again, sweet potatoes and marshmallows, whatever that thing is. But, but if my mom made acorn squash, like, the acorn squash, like, that's probably what the sweet potatoes and marshmallows thing should be. Because, again, you know, it's, the acorn squash, butter, and brown sugar. That, that's it. It's so good. It was so good. I can't believe it's taking me this long to do a mom food chronicle on it. But I finally did it. Hooray! I did that. Um. So yeah. Love things look forward to. I just picked. I I picked the Raiders to win tonight over the Rams. So that happened. Um, we have an episode of Hot Ones today featuring Kate Hudson as the guest, which I'm actually, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Sean Evans asked about one romantic comedy related question. I hope he does. Because, I mean, here's the thing. A lot of the romantic comedies that uh, Kate Hudson in were pretty awful, but Kate Hudson wasn't. Kate Hudson's cool. I will man, this guy, I, I do have a bit of a crush on I have a crush on a lot of celebrities, let's be real here. You know, like that's a video in of itself. I could make that video, couldn't I? Hmm. I'll have to think about that. But for now, I'll just say, last night was awesome. Help my parents stop creating the Christmas tree. All of the Chris, like, Christmas spirit is really kicked off in a high year. I can't wait to see what the rest of the month brings. Again, we're only a quarter of the way there, so anything can happen. But, I mean, I just came off of a hundred, seriously, like from day 1700 to 8 to 1799, that was probably the best set of a hundred days I think I've had in a long time. So, right now, three days in, I'm feeling pretty good right now. So, here's the hoping I keep that up. So I hope you all liked this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and YouTube channel. Follow me on social media. And as always, I am very humbled to make this video. For all of you guys watching, enjoy your day. It will be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Thursday. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here to lend an ear. And I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.